Hey guys, welcome back to another tech tip and in today's video I'm going to show you how to transfer your photos from your Amazon Kindle Fire to your computer. Check it out. Now one thing I will say is that the Amazon uh, Kindle Fire and typically an Android tablet are very similar. They do use a lot of the same code, however, there is just enough difference in the both of the operating systems that I think it'd be beneficial for us to be able to create and uh, make a video on how to actually transfer the files from the tablet, uh, the Amazon tablet, over to your computer. So let's go ahead and go over on over to the computer and let's get started. Now first things first, before we get started, we're going to need a couple different items and while I'm grabbing those items, don't mind the ridiculously cheesy Happy New Year uh, background I've got on the wallpaper here for you guys. I hope you guys do have a Happy New Year. But without further ado, what you're actually going to need for this is you're actually going to need, of course, your Kindle that you have. And then it's best preferred that you use the cable that actually comes with it, just because some third party uh, USB cables may not actually have the ability to transmit data. So the one that does come with it is definitely a charger slash a uh, data transfer cable. What you're going to want to do is go ahead and plug it in. Once you've connected your Kindle Fire to the computer with the USB cable, you may get a little tone that indicates that it has connected. If you don't, what you'll need to do is you'll need to put in your passcode or your password for your Kindle Fire, and that will allow it to finish the communication to the computer. Uh, what we're going to do first is we're going to add one extra step, and this is to create a folder that we're going to use later on in the video to actually back up the files to. So right here on the desktop, we're going to make it simple. You can put this file anywhere you want. If you have a specific location where you store your photos, um, or if you use the default pictures folder of the actual computer, I'm just going to go ahead and put it right here on the desktop. And to do that, we're going to right click, come on down to hover over new, and then left click on folder. And let's just go ahead and name this 12, 28, 2017 for today. And then I'm going to do Kindle backup. You can name this folder whatever you want. Once you have that, just go ahead and hit enter and it will finalize that edit. And then we're going to come back to this folder in just a moment. What we're going to do now is in the bottom left hand of the screen, you're going to notice you may have a file explorer window. Left click on that. And you'll notice that the fire device will show up under devices and drives. Double left click on fire. You may have two different locations for storage. I use the default uh, location for my Amazon Kindle and, and photos. I don't actually have a memory card plugged into it, but if you do, it will show up right here to the right. It'll have a, an extra like uh, memory card or whatever the memory card name is will show up right there. But you may want to check that folder just to make sure there's no other uh, files in there as well. Like I said, the default location for the Amazon Kindle and photos is in the internal storage. So double left click on internal storage. And then we're going to look for a file that says DCIM, stands for digital camera image. Double left click it. And then double left click camera. You'll notice I have two pictures in here that I've taken just for test purposes. And then what we're going to want to do is we're going to highlight by left clicking and dragging. And that'll make all of the images that come in contact with that left drag, that'll select them, allowing us to copy those over. Or if you hit control A, that will also copy any folder in there. Um, and since we're doing a mass backup, hitting Control A is probably your best bet so we can back up all of those photos to the computer. Then what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to navigate on the desktop and find out where we put that folder. So what we can do, if you look on the left hand side under de or just to the left of desktop, you're going to notice a little arrow. Left click on that and that's going to give you a little drop down tree of all of the little folders that we have created on the desktop you can see that we have the 1228-2017 Kindle backup folder right there. So what we're gonna do is again, we're gonna go ahead and make sure we've got all of the images selected and we're gonna drag them and then left, uh, we're gonna drag them by holding left click and then let go. You may see a progress bar that comes across the screen or you may not. Either way, let's double check and make sure that that information or those, fo those photos have actually backed up to the folder. So if we come on to the left and left click on that folder, you'll notice that those files are actually in there and it actually did back up those. Hey guys, thanks for watching that tech tip. If you love the video, give it a like, give it a share, leave any kind of comment or feedback in the comment section below the video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button while you're down there and we will see you next time.